how to brand yourself. Whether you're a music producer, a rapper, a videographer, a creator in general, in business it's all about branding. The difference between success and failure is having a brand. The difference between making as much money as you want and being broke or barely getting by is branding. I learned a long time ago that talent can only get you so far and when you really want to reach the next level it's all about building your brand. There's a reason why people will spend so much money on designer clothing and it's not because the quality or the texture of the clothing itself is so much better than the cheap Walmart t-shirt. It's because of the branding. It's that little logo on the shirt that means that hey it's this brand and so it means something. There's a reason why guys like Paul Bennett get paid top dollar for their videos and there's probably another guy out there that has similar creativity or a similar style of music videos as Cole but he's not making the money that Cole makes. He doesn't have the success or the respect that Cole gets. There's a reason why artists get paid top dollar for features or getting booked for shows and meanwhile you're the hottest dude in the city but you're not making money or you're not finding success with your music and it's building that brand. Producers like Murder Beats, Scott Storch, Timberland, they have a well-known established brand that's trusted and that's why they get paid the big bucks for their beats and meanwhile there's hundreds or thousands of other guys out there that have dope beats maybe even beats that are better than those guys but they're not finding the success that they have and it's because of branding my name is crack -Lack. i used to be an artist myself from about 15 to 23 i put out over 16 projects and during that time i learned how to do all of those services that artists need for example making my own beats recording and mixing my own songs doing graphic design shooting and editing videos i realized that being an artist wasn't for me so since then for over 10 years now my thing is the behind the scenes stuff so what i do is shoot music videos make beats i own a studio do the whole entrepreneur thing and so that's what i talk about on my channel right here so you guys in this video we're going to talk about branding how to build your brand branding yourself i got some tips and tricks for you guys welcome to the video crack a lag on the track All right, you guys, so we're here in Brooklyn, New York. How do we end up here? So I'm from Lansing, Michigan. I travel and shoot music videos a lot. And uh, this is about a 12 hour drive. So yesterday we were in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Three, two, one. Olympic speed, strongest fly I've ever seen was in LA. The video's gonna be on my YouTube. Wait, you have a YouTube? <laughs> Earlier, we went to Penthouse Recording Studios and I linked up with DG Main to make some beats. It's dope that you picked up video. I was just showing one of my artists that I work with your stuff and your channel and he's just like, yo, this guy got it. Like, he knows how to do content. He's consistent, like. Making beats is fun, I miss this shit. COVID ain't gonna stop us. Now we're gonna head to Times Square. It's almost three in the morning. We're gonna do another scene for b -Lo's music video. And we're gonna talk more about how to build your brand. You got the khakis? Welcome to New York. Crack a lag on the track. All right, so first with branding, let's start with your name. So my name is Crackalack. It's spelt a certain way, always is constant. When you hear Walmart, when you hear Nike, Tommy Hilfiger, Nautica, Scott Storch, people like that, Lyrical Lemonade, it's the name. The name comes first. I've been in the studio with artists sometimes where I'm like, all right, man, what's your artist's name? And they're like, uh, you could just put this, you could just put that, you could put that. Sometimes I go by this, sometimes I go by that. And it's like, dog, establish your name, establish your identity. Let it be known to the world who you are and what is it that you do. Sometimes I like to think of it like the WWE. When you picture Undertaker, when you picture Hulk Hogan, what colors do you think of? Hulk Hogan is red and yellow. Think of, yeah, brother. If I said Macho Man Randy Savage, it's like this character that goes with your, your name and your identity. Maybe you have a certain color theme that's part of your brand. Maybe you have a certain look in all of your videos. Maybe you have a certain style, the way you look, the way you dress. So all of those things go with that character that it is that you're presenting. This applies whether you're an artist, a producer, a videographer. Just establish your character, your identity, your name. If you can, try 
to get your name to be the same thing on all of your social medias. For example, like myself in a perfect world, what's my Instagram? If my name is Crackalack, what's my Instagram gonna be? At Crackalack. If I have a website, what should my website be? Crackalack.com. Having that consistency, the same name every place, people get familiar with it. Make sure you know your name and uh, stick with it. Stick with it and run with it. Presentation is really important. If you want to be taken serious as a dope music producer about your business videographer, upcoming big time rapper, you're in control of the content you put out there. So with the content you put out there, your social media pages, your website, you want it to look professional because you want people to, to take you serious. If I go to your Facebook page and I see a bunch of memes about Michael Jordan versus LeBron James or Seth Curry or this and that, and I have to keep scrolling, all I see is like pointless nonsense or things like that. I don't even know who you are, what you do. If you're a rapper, I should go to your Instagram within seconds. No, okay, this guy's a rapper. How do I know? Because of his bio, the way his page is set up, the type of content he posts out there. So like, we're in control of what we put out there. So put out the type of content that represents who you are and what you do, and then also attracts the type of people that you want. So myself, for example, I want high quality artists that take themselves serious to reach out to me, to pay me what I feel my time and skill is worth when it comes to studio time or coaching calls or beats or music videos so i'm thoughtful with the content that i post out there if you're a photographer and you want to take pictures of pretty girls your social media i should see pictures of pretty girls so i can say hey this guy he must take pictures of pretty girls don't post meaningless content out there that it doesn't make you look good or represent you in the right way a way to study that is choose who you follow follow the guys that you maybe want to be like or that you look up to or people that have success that you're after see what kind of content that they post out there. I like this, this, and this from this guy, but I like the way that this guy posts this, this, and this. I'm gonna kind of combine those two, put my own twist on it, and this is the type of content that I'm gonna put out there. Four in the morning, can't man tired. <laughs> Shooting the music video Times Square. I'm just happy that you're paying 3000 man. I'm just happy about that. <laughs> right? Trey. Trey. Shot a music video Times Square, New York. Bro, out here in some slides. Dog was moving and moving in them slides. You guys want a speed ramp tutorial? That's what we just did right there. That's gonna be the speed ramp. We get 37 no, comments. No, 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 no. Nobody can speed ramp like this. No. <laughs> if we get 37 comments asking for speed ramp tutorials, I'll make it for you guys. I know as creators, sometimes we're introverts and we don't like to show our face. I think showing your face is good with building trust. When you think of trust, let's say you're shopping online, you're okay, you're fine with spending money on a website that you trust, right? But if you're buying some stuff online from some random website you never heard of, you don't trust them, so you're more hesitant with spending your money because you're worried about getting ripped off. I do think that showing your face helps with building your personal brand a lot. As far as being shy and uh, feeling awkward talking to the camera, that's something that you'll get a little bit better with each and every time you do it. I mean, I've been doing it for a long time and it's, you're gonna stumble your words, but you can fix all that in the editing. Now I know as creatives, sometimes we're a little awkward or we're, now I know as creatives, usually we're, now I know as creatives sometimes, a lot of times too, people may be drawn into you because they hear about your beats, but then once they start following you more, they like you as a person. So then you have that more personal connection and people like you for you and they wanna just support what it is that you're doing. We're here at 
Gino. Gino's and Pat's, they're like kitty corner from each other, but they're the like number one and number two. Best Philly cheese steak places, just throwing that out there. The other thing with brand is uh, social proof, right? So it goes with trust too. Let's say you're an artist and you're looking to shoot a music video laying on some videographer's page and he's verified and he's got 100,000 followers versus the next guy who has 100 followers and he's following 5,000 people and on his page is like pictures of food, pictures of his dog, stuff like that. You're gonna trust, want to spend your money with the guy that has more social proof, like that, that brand, that following. How do you do that? I would say consistency is gonna be very important and posting quality content. Think about triggering some sort of emotion with each post you do. If you're an artist, you make songs, think about if someone listens to this song, what kind of emotion is this gonna trigger? If you're a producer, are you helping other producers out there to build some sort of audience that way? If you're a videographer, are you sharing some tips? Are you the cool camera guy that people look up to? And then why would they look up to you? A lot of it comes from just continuing to work. People are attracted to things that are already going on. If you look like you're busy and you got a lot of things going on, like make sure you capture that, document your journey. I preach about that a lot on my channel. I even have a whole tutorial on why you should vlog and document your journey. Get behind the scene pictures. Just, it shows people that you're busy and then people want to work with the guy that's busy. And if you're never busy, you're not doing shit, then it looks like business is dead. When new shoes come out and they're sold out, it, it makes them more exclusive and people want them more. That makes that branding, the social proof, higher. <laughs> Dog a legend. Dog a legend. If the movie Rocky did inspire you in some way, shape, or form, you a bitch. I remember there was a dude talking shit about me at school, so he was gonna fight me the next day if I watched Rocky, Rocky. 3. <laughs> And I even woke up early for school and watched Rocky 3 and the training thing, and I was like, watch them do it. No, you <laughs> Swear to God on my life, I'll drop dead right now if I was lying. And it didn't happen, right? So the next day I watched it again. It was like for five days in a row. And then he was just all top. I was ready. ready. I was Rocky ready. Dog a legend. Yeah. <laughs> Is he gonna his titties? <laughs> <laughs> I said we walk our way out there. We're just driving back to the Airbnb, look off the side of the highway, and I see the lit up, pure looking area with the most amazing New York City view in the world. We weren't finished filming B-Lil's music video that we started in Pittsburgh, did last night in Times Square. So I'm like, all right, let's pull over, get the last scene right here, wrap this music video up. Beautiful scenery. Every music video needs the three S's. You either have story, scenery, or slides. Every video. This video's got scenery. Yo, is that the Statue of Liberty? Ah! Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Statue of Liberty. Seeing me, the camera recording, they just yeah, assumed I was gonna be from Jersey Shore. My legs are already giving out. Do it, jump. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Three. Jump, two, one. Jump. No, I'm nervous. Oh. See? <laughs> Yes, That's my job. Man, I got guys and girls fighting over this. Well, one of them said you're pretty and one of them asked if he could sit on my face. Oh, God. Where you from? Michigan. New York. <laughs> like, oh, okay, gotcha. Let's summarize. First and foremost, make sure you have your name figured out. What do you go by? Get all of your social media pages and handles all together. Delete any nonsense, but also remember at the same time, don't be a robot and only post, here's a beat, here's a beat, here's a beat, here's a beat, here's a new song, here's a new song. That's uh, You gotta sprinkle that type of stuff in there, right? And show people that you are a person, you can be relatable. Post the content that you want to attract the audience. When you have that good content, and you start making some money, put money back into yourself. Take trips to places such as this where maybe you're not gonna make money, you're gonna lose money, but you're networking, mixing, and mingling with the right people. That's a different way of putting money back into your business. Running ads on social media, putting money back into your business. It's good to spend money on exposure or opportunities, just meeting new people. It's lots of trial and error. You're gonna try a lot of different things. You're gonna open a lot of doors. Behind one of those doors is gonna be good things that get you a step closer to where it is that you
you want to go. I always try to stand out from the crowd. When you see all the producers, say, doing cartoon graphics, don't copy or imitate them. Pay attention to what other people are doing. Pay attention to the things that are working for them, but also put your own spin on it. So that way you stand out. You want to stand out from the crowd. I look at it like trials for a basketball team. If you just kind of blend in, you might get cut, you might make it. But if you actually stand out from the crowd, now you can get the coach's attention and be like, hey, who's that guy? He's different. So I'm not saying you got to dye your hair purple or pink. It might not hurt in some cases. If you guys want me to go over in depth a lot more branding videos, I just wanted to kind of throw this video out there where I'm kind of speaking a little bit on everything, but I do want to go over specific things a lot more in depth in like their own videos in the future. So let me know what questions you guys have about building your brand in the comments below, and I'll get back to each and every one of you guys. If you made it to the end of the video, I appreciate you. Do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified. For future uploads, we are in New York City. I'll see you guys in the next video. Crack like TV. We out.